Let me on the dot. <laughs> and I'm sending you the, the party invite. <clears throat> we should be good to go. Oh, the... Well, now, I don't know that I've been talking right like this for... I've forgotten how to. <laughs> I got a couple of weeks, right? Just a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me find us. <clears throat> oh, we are live and we are in commercial. So let me do a quick... Uh... Oh, we have to wait, don't we? We have to wait. So. But, uh... It helps protect your mom's facility. Well, there's the commercial. I can hear the commercial, so we're definitely... <laughs> This helps okay. protect your mom's risotto. What were they saying? So yeah, funny. something like that. Ooh, there's a new there's a new game coming out called God of War Ragnarok. It's available nice. on PC though. PlayStation, All my right. bad. PC, PlayStation. Yeah, let me hear you. Nice. Oh yeah, we're we're good. Right. Testing one two. Right. <laughs> you we got be me. good. We All be right. good. Sweet. Hi everyone! Guess who Hello. it is? <laughs> Can you guess who it is? Um, do I get three guesses? Mm, it's a crazy one. wood elf lady. Some dude with a crazy skull for a head. <laughs> oh, Am wait. I getting closer? It, Am I close? Is it is it wood elves? Hey, wood elf, wood elf time! Yay! Hi! <laughs> yes, well this is uh, the voice of Flower Child 567 and you're looking at the Laura Wild Child. Wild one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wild one. And wild one. And, and wild with child would be a whole different kind of stream. Oh, that would be a different <laughs> stream. It would. And this is Stretch, of course. Hey, everybody. Great to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. And you can see he's got the skull head on still. I'm yeah, it's helpful when we need to find Earth, you know, and spin it around. <laughs> I'm bound and determined to get that bloody thing off you. <laughs> <laughs> we got to find a quest to take it off. Remove that curse. Lift the curse. Remove. I thought we lifted the curse. Did we not? I was hoping we could with that crazy lady and her multiple personalities, but she really wasn't interested in helping me. She was the only, she was, what did they call him, a narcissist? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, narcissist. Only involved in herself. So funny. Yeah, totally involved in herself. She just wanted to meet and berate all of her <laughs> personalities. And I think, okay, here's my theory. I think mm -hmm. all of us um, have yeah. a little bit of split personality going on inside of us. Because think I about agree, it. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, when you're with some kind of with certain people, you are a different behavior. And Brian, when it brings out a different with, side of you, right? Like a different it emotion does. takes the lead. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, and even Absolutely. behavior and how you talk and how, how you know, I think that uh, that's just human nature. But there are, unfortunately, real schizophrenics in life. And I, oh, yeah. I, do, I do feel compassion for them. Absolutely. I did an audiobook about a schizophrenic uh, guy who wants to solve his sister's murder. And you know, you don't know when you're reading or hearing it, whether or not it's really happening or if it's just in his mind. And I do all kinds Ooh. of crazy voices for the voices he hears. Uh, it's a really good book. It's called The Unraveling of Brendan Meeks. Anyway, the schizo thing Ooh. got me thinking of it. And uh, it's a really good audiobook. I was going to say, though, you're absolutely right about that, who you're with that brings out that emotion and different things. Because whenever we hang out, I end up talking in an Irish accent. You do? Wait, wait, do you really? I, no, gosh, only for the stream. I never, I'm totally teasing How you. come I never noticed that you talk in an Irish accent? Aren't you the funny one now? Ha, ha, ha. So, <laughs> uh, so where can they get that book? On Audible? Audible? Yeah, it's on Audible or iTunes. It's pretty much anywhere audiobooks are sold. You can find it out there. The Unraveling of Brendan Meeks. Schizophrenic doesn't detective. That, Super fun. Doesn't that sound like a plan? All right. And of course, if you can't remember, you know who to reach out to and ask. Not, <laughs> and not ask me. about the housing tour. Not me. Not me. Yes, ask about this, the uh, Thursday night housing tour. <laughs> yeah, so fun. So, and, what? Oh, go ahead. You go. Go ahead. No, I was you. just going to say, should we take a moment and tell everybody what they can expect today, what we're going to be off to? I think you should go for it and tell them while I have some water. 
Oh, okay. I was thinking I could trick you into telling them, but I will tell okay. them. Hey, everybody. What we're going to do is we're going to finish up this zone. So as you know, we completed the zone story last time around, but there are all kinds of little miniature quests to do. There's delves and public dungeons that these characters haven't seen. And so we're going to use this tool called What's Next, where you open the zone story and hit explore, and it takes you a marker by marker where you haven't been. And we're just going to kind of see what kind of trouble we can get into, find out what's happening, see if the world's recovering after we shut down the recollection and uh, see what kind of you know, shenanigans we're going to encounter. Yeah, indeed we are. And I just was showing them uh, as you were saying it. So as you can see right there, it's Discover Wilburn's Edge Way Shrine. Because if you look to the left, that's the map completion. So we still have, you know, we still have like maybe 30% of the of the map completion still to do and yeah, I there's think still quite a bit yeah i'm surprised um zone stories take up a very small percentage of a map completion but it, when you're doing them you come across so much of the map anyway it's so true that's what, yeah for sure you can, yeah we're in skin grad you can see our little blue arrows right there um, we're outside of the achievement where um, I had to leave. I had to leave the achievement vendor because, you know, we got on those massage tables and, oh, yeah. God. And I, I heard someone asking about a happy ending, so I said, oh, excuse me, I'll Whoa. be back. <laughs> like, I thought this is a that different kind of story. <laughs> I thought that was you asking for that. Do I get a happy ending now? In oh, your good Irish heavens. <laughs> You weren't asking me. You no, were asking no, whoever was in him. there. Oh, no, no, because you're a leper. I'm a leper. I just have a skull for a head. What are you talking no, about? No, no, no. You were so feminine. No, no, not you. I wasn't asking you. And I said, no, because I guess I'm a leper. Oh, anyway. I see. That's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, here we're going out the town over to that destination. So if you'll give us just one heartbeat, we will begin today's the gold coal, the gold road wood elf role play. Now, did you get yourself a happy ending or what? Well, I'm pretty happy that the massage ended as I don't have a lot of padding being a skeleton at all, you know. Well, I was thinking about that. I was thinking to myself, he must really be hard up if he's getting himself a, a massage. And well, we had traipsed all over the bones. planet. It felt like so tired but, from all the walking and running. But you don't have any muscles. You're just skin I'm and skin bones. I'm skin and bones. Is that what you're saying? It's, Perhaps you're right. I should eat bones. a sandwich. Got to find but me a bigger sandwich. How's that going to help put muscle on ya? Oh, did we go out the wrong? I think we went the wrong way. I think no, we have to go this way. We've got to go around way. the corner now, yeah? All right, there then, you I go. Bar That's the way to go. Here's the road right here. We're going to so go right I'm down watching. the road down here. Okay, that's grand. And I think we've been away from each other for like two weeks now. Did you miss me? I missed you quite a bit. It's great to Aww. hear your voice and to see you there, running down the path in your brand new outfit. But you like me outfit? Look at this. Check out what I'm wearing. I'll tell you what I'm wearing real oh, quick, yes. in case anybody is interested in knowing. So, uh, if you look at me outfit, it's a conglomeration of items. So, I can't tell you what the pieces are. Just know that I made it at an outfit station. So, it's real. It's not fake. It's not a costume. These are real uh, uh, outfit station pieces. You know, for you look style. very pretty now. You're like a flowering bloom over there. I am. Pretty. I am. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, after we completed the recollection and taken care of them, all of a sudden I just got all, all flowery. I don't know what happened to me eyes, so my eyes kind of spaced out a bit i think i got some kind of a spell cast on me and i'm not sure what kind now but it has to do with the uh, valenwood i think mm -hmm. oh, that sounds very interesting you look like you could be a, a flower from valenwood you got your green stems and your bloom up top you do i am a flower and even the butterflies like to ha land on me head although sometimes ah here we go look at this so now it says discover 13 of 14 way shrines in Westwood. So now I have to hold it down 
to see the next one. Where's the next one located? Oh, way up there. It's quite there. a bit north up there now. I think if we take a take the portal mm -hmm. the way Shrine up to North Hook, we can just walk a wee bit north and capture it. That should be our last way to Shrine that we need here. North Hook, I see it. Okay, let's go there. North Hook, where all the prostitutes are hiding. Hooking what? it about. Just that easy, oh. yeah. Oh no, if that ain't a dad joke, I don't know what. And today I have to be telling you, me Irish is a bit rusty. <laughs> it's been a fun two weeks since we were talking like oh, this. Look. Oh, look! Someone needs our help right over here. here. Right oh, here. Right here. My dear shy. Nancy Stren, what has oh, happened to you? Shy. She's oh, quite wavy for a shy girl. Yeah, she looks... Let me look at her close, close up. Oh, she doesn't look like a wood elf. Does she look like a wood elf? May no. Maybe she's a high elf, but she's definitely not a wood elf. Elf no, better. I think high elf for sure. And I have to tell you, there's a bit of a contradiction going on here now. Take a look at what she's wearing for such a shy little elf. Right? Do you know anyone shy who dresses in a corset? Walking around No, I in don't. It? In, in thigh-high high boots. boots. Look at those and look boots. at it. And her little bummy butt uh, just pushing out at the back. I haven't seen anybody shy dressed like that. And she, Don't yeah, talk sure. to her and see what she has to say for herself. I suppose we'd best. Hello, Alberta the What's shy. Hello, my friend. Would you be interested in helping the great adventurer Narcissus Dren? He's busy exploring a nearby alien ruin, and I fear for his safety. Oh. I've never well, heard of Narcissus Dren. Have I you? haven't either. No, and why are you so concerned about his safety? What? The noted explorer Narcissus Dren has gone to investigate the ruins of Wendia, and I fear he may be in trouble. He left some time ago to procure an alien relic, the emblem of the last king. Could you oh. go and help him? He will reward your efforts. Oh. Well, what do you I think? Don't... I mean, the alien ruin is pretty close by. We've been to Wendia before. Well, what do you should think? We go? Should we? It seems safe enough. We handled it earlier, and I think we're more capable now than we were then. Well, then, okay, what you need from us? Find Narcissus and help him recover the emblem from Wendia. Here, let me mark it on your map. He had some Buddha for allies, but I do not trust them. Excuse me. My dear Narcissus is brilliant but impulsive. I yeah. need someone to protect Isn't him from his own enthusiasm. It's not fine at all, at all. Well, Please I don't us, know. But we don't like your type. <laughs> yeah. We'll go find Narcissus Drin. I can tell you a little about the we'll area. Go find but I'm afraid treasure, full information on the task ahead oh, should yes, come from Narcissus like Drin himself. Chest. Please, go seek him out. Well, it looks like we've started alien altercations. So, all right. Do we want to know who Narcissus Drin is? Do we want to ask her about that? Indeed, I've never heard of him before. Can you tell you us more about this with the great Narcissus Dren? Surely you've encountered his works at some point. Narcissus Dren and the Draga Dilemma? Narcissus Dren and the Well of Gold? Not heard of him, sorry. No, are those so, books that we should have run across somewhere? They published of books? Of course. But don't mistake him for a mere scrivener. He is a man with a penchant for ruins, a fondness for levers, and an appetite for adventure that would rival a sensuous hunger. Oh, and let's say, dear, where do you fit into this? I'm one of Narcissus Dren's devoted personal assistants. Mm, perhaps I think the right most devoted. So I her. compile his research, mm, perhaps, organize his perhaps. travel plans, and transcribe his notes. I'm proud to serve such a gifted explorer. I see. So you're quite involved, are you now, Missy? I can tell you a little about the area, but I'm afraid full information on the task ahead should come from Narcissus Dren himself. Do you notice Please, how she go says, seek him out. Narcissus Dren? You know, she talks normal speed and then all of a sudden, Narcissus Dren. She gets a little bit excited talking about him now, doesn't she? It's quite she does indeed. Her her voice gets all drooly when she says, or Twitter pages and such. Mm. Well, what do you tell us about these runes of winter? I think we've been here, but you might the need to say something. The ancient elves that ruled before the empire built keeps, crypts, and fortifications throughout the land. Oh, we're very aware this of this. This is one of the last of them before their kingdoms fell. Now all are in ruins, overrun by monsters and rogues. 
Oh, she's not really she's talking to a couple of put elves here. I know. Do you know? Do you know that? Do you know that? Who you're talking to? We're the best monsters of all. Yes, <laughs> but dear Narcissus, he needs that type but of storm. adventure. That is why yes, he needs indeed, someone to help him in his adversity, to help rein in Shall his enthusiasm. Yes, and good thing he has you. I can tell you a little about the area. No, we don't want afraid. to know anything else. Goodbye. Right, where are we going now? Wind air is coming. We're going to go this wind way, just a bit south and southeast All of right. us. We'll find wind here, the ruins. Oh, All right, hold on one second. I just pulled that quest on me board so I can uh, have it have it telling us what we've done and when we've done it and that we are complete. All right, I'm ready. All right, off we go then. Close enough, I think we can just hoof it. We don't need to take the horses. Well, for a minute, I thought you were going to say hook it. We could hook it and I'll take the horse over there. <laughs> oh, you've got your mind in the gutter today, I see. I Apparently see, I so. See. It was all the talk of happy endings in the massage table, I tell you. I love happy endings. I love when things just work out just so perfectly that you at the end say, I'm so happy I did that. I am so happy I met you. I am so not happy I met you now. Oh, this person is not very friendly at all. There we go. Well, would you look at that? We got the recollection here after all. And, and look at that. We got a... Treated. We got to fall in leaves. A uh, cofer too. Oh, look at here's a person squatted down. I wonder which. Oh, this oh, is not. Oh, that's Strand, the Hello, great no. explorer. We need to Hush. talk to you. Can't you see I'm busy blending into oh, my elf. surroundings? A dark elf. You're not doing a great job at that. We saw you right away. And elf. The elf that sent us. us. Yes, indeed. Help? Yes, I guess we have to help the great Narciss. Elf better, mm. of course. Oh, notice yes, how he speaks of I her. Need some help. Oh. First, you must know I am the noted explorer Narcissus Drin. Oh you yes, we've heard name, all course. about you. World famous adventurer and author and all that. Oh my God, he's so. <laughs> I've been exploring the, the alien ruins wow, near Windmill. You know. <laughs> oh, uh, you have been exploring, and why aren't you still in there exploring? Did something go wrong for ya, Narcissus Things were going along swimmingly, when out of nowhere, my associates, a band called The Recollection, turned on me. Turned I barely on escaped with my life. Now I need someone to recover the emblem of the last king. He did indeed. And the emblem of the last king yes, is... Yes, one of the symbols of office of King Dinar, last of the alien rulers. I thought the recollection would be interested in the discovery. Apparently, they were too interested and chased me out. But we're going back and we'll retrieve the emblem. Well, we are on a roll indeed today. All right, when do we start? We must search these surface ruins for two types of things. My own irreplaceable notes and any oh. information of the recollection's doings. Those wood elves must have some papers about here. Hi, Mission bud. orders, reports, or correspondence. Well, all right. Do you want to tell us about what happened here before we do anything I think for it you? I should never have mentioned the kind of the last king the recollection. They you. sent a large contingent of helpers and drove me off. The emblem was part oh. of the regalia of the last alien king, Lelorian Dinar. You know about King Dinar? Hmm. Do you know about King Dinar? Do you know who that is? I don't, but I'm not surprised to hear that the recollection is after the relics and such here. The Belt King probably put it all in motion before we took care of him. Oh, that Belt King. All right, so you tell us, who's this King Dinar? Uh, have you not read my books? <laughs> When the last of the alien kingdoms fell, incredible. its people and treasures we were scattered been. throughout Tamriel. Have we listened the to this The emblem was one of the time. symbols of King Dinar, the last ruler of the aliens. So tell us, if that's why you've come to Windir? Indeed. Indeed. I'd heard tales that the last king's five devoted retainers gathered here prior to his demise. Okay. The emblem of the last king is sure to be here, protected by the traps set by these five loyal retainers. 
Five loyal retainers. All right. Goodbye. So what and are we doing? He spent. We've got to keep our eyes open for the traps in there. All right. I suppose we're going to the to the wind here. Is that where we're going? Now Indeed I'm not sure. Is. I'm going to follow you and kill any anything that comes me way. I'm going to kill it. Dead, dead, and deader. Well, I'm glad you clarified. Like, I'm going to follow you and kill you. <laughs> look, at, look at right here. We've got a report oh. from the Vindare Dick. I didn't see I was killing you now, did I? Oh, look at that. Well, it was sort great. of implied there now, wasn't it? No, it was not. You oh misunderstood. Gosh. I think you need to uh, clean out them. Oh, wait, you don't have any ears because you've got just a skull on this. I can't believe they're this. complaining about me. I just got these little ear holes <laughs> after all I did, did for them. Hello, Fine. hello in there. Can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so the letter here is talking about a bunch of minotaurs that had taken over. At first they were just out outside topside here but then they went down inside there uh, this particular part he's only found wine some holy washer and blood uh, wine. there's blockage and a sealed blood. gate so they're, they're having trouble exploring apparently they ran into some sort of petrifying trap turning everyone into stone so we gotta watch stone. out for that oh, and apparently they also complained about Mr. Narciss back there but he's Telling ridiculous tales of his exploits and drooling over some statue and Wait, such. But back apparently... there? Are you talking yes. about Narcissus, He's standing Indeed. right here between us. That's exactly who I'm talking about. Oh, He's supposed to hurt me talk. talking about what I'm reading in this letter. Well, I think so, because he's standing right here. Well, Narcissus, you're very popular in this letter. It says right here that they don't trust <laughs> you not to steal some of the trinkets. Is that part of why you had a fallen out with them, hmm? Well, don't he's, you worry. We'll take you down and be efficient. You should keep he's brooding. Too. He's, he's brooding right now. You see, he won't even answer you. <laughs> it says right, right here at the end that he's getting on their nerves. If he tells oh, them one more time about how suave and knowledgeable he is, that they're going to throw him down a well. I think that well, might happen well, to us. Well, well, well. Well, That's a deep subject it is. Are we going this way? There's... I th uh, which way are we going now? Which way are we going? I'm not sure. I'm just sort of following it around and looking for a way into the ruins. Well, Narcissus, I... can you direct us? No, he's too Probably busy, not. friend. Right. He's too busy looking at his beautiful self. He is rather nice. Do you know, today I went to the inn and I, I was sitting there minding my own business and in came a minotaur and sat down beside me and ate grapes. Did not offer me any. I was a little appalled. Wow, that's quite crazy. He just sat down there until he peeled the grapes first, or did he just eat them before? And he sat right next to me, he did. And I thought, hey, hello, I was here first. Aren't you going to offer me any? Uh-oh. Oh, knocked me right to my arse. I saw that. I've got some little... That's a kind of know. beastie collar here. Mm. Throwing the bugs at me. Yeah, he's bugging me. Can you tell him to leave? Ah, here we've got another letter. Another letter. What oh, have we got? A bar. Oh dear. Hmm. 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 Well, I don't know if free forsaken imperial lands. <gasps> Three weeks. Ancient trash. Ah, sore muscles. Look at this person has the same problem you do. That's why you need that massage. They say I prattle. I don't prattle. I offer my wisdom all the calmly and Hush. reasonably. They should Hush. have been grateful. So apparently they had the same troubles that the other note talked about. Lack of treasure. Yeah. Crazy minotaurs. Like this person right here. Kneeling by a minotaur. I'm going to just kill him. Kill him, kill him. I'm making up for lost time now. I haven't seen you for two weeks. So I'm making up for lost time. And I'm just going to kill everything I see. Kill, kill, dead, dead, gone. Oh, well, you're seeing red today, are you? Well, I'm red, seeing red, something. Red, red, red. red, red. I tell right, you there's what, a... no harm in killing everything you see in here. Except for the guy with the skeleton head. Avoid that one. Oh, you mean you... Well, I don't see. kill me. I'm going to follow you and kill you. What? 
Okay, here what? we go. Where's the next? Oh, here's a Minotaur right here. It is. Oh. And there's a, and there's a chest. There's a chest. The treasure right there. Oh, good guy. Dead. Gone, gone. Don't you go you for us? Are you not going to open it? I was waiting for you to open it. I thought maybe you'd want to open it, but I guess not. Not that great. Only... can open the chesties. I'm the only gold digger here. Ah. How much money do you have? Do you have gold coin? Do you have a lot? How's your bank account? Do you got a lot in your bank account? I'm just wondering. It's been quite I'm just low curious. Only lately. It's mm. stuffed full of those 300 gold coins that Baromir gave us for completing that quest. Only 300. I feel like we're a bit underpaid out I, here. I think we are. Nobody truly appreciates our efforts. We're underpaid. We're oh, we're used to no good and. At least oh, you've got a happy a ending. I would have liked a happy ending too. I don't know why I ran. I shouldn't have. I don't know which way you went now. Hold on. Ah, I've got to go back this way. Where are you? I can't I'm working here. my way to this node over here. Well, I'm trying to work here, my way there too. I'll mark myself with the star so you can find me. Oh, that, oh that's grand. Now I see you. All right. But I think I keep getting myself in a corner. I do. Oh no. There you. Oh, there's someone else here called Gold Digger Dragon Slayer. Gold Digger Dragon Slayer. How do you the Gold Digger? Well, I am, but they got the name over their head too. Well, actually, they just have Dragon Slayer over their head. So, I guess I am the only Gold Digger. All right. I see a note right here. Do you not see the here note right are. here? Oh, and it's a notes of the five loyal retainers. Oh, that's a grand book. My written by oh. Narcissus. Look at that, Narcissus. Sure to be filled with big words and nothing substance. Well, it'll be blamed on everybody else but himself, you know. He'll talk about how good he is, how nice he is, and all them things. Hmm. Ah. He's calling for more assistance, ah, is what he's calling excellent. for. Excellent. My notes on the five loyal retainers. You know, it would do you well to study these notes. They might come in handy someday. Well, well I don't know about that. We'll see. I give it a read and it's pretty boring. But it basically yes. details the background of each of the five retainers. Interestingly enough, the final one was a medic. And so they steal the, the runes, and here we are. And here's Dylan with the recollection. Do you not see the book right here? Oh, I feel like we could have written this book. We just dealt with them. Oh, and this is written by Narcissus himself, too. Let's ah, head into the well. catacombs beneath I these ruins to sort it. through what we found away from this rabble. Well, all right, then. Which way do we go? I think back up here then? Yes, we have to enter back up here this way. All right, I'll be following you then. Oh, well, here's the Minotaur. He's back up. He's resurrected. He's, he's one of, in cahoots with one of them necromancers. Indeed, he got up quite fast, not he? Yes, I know a preacher who was resurrected from necromancy. Do you know? Yeah, I do. Right, we're trying to get up here so we can go down and get into the room itself. I think it's up there. I think we have to go up and then go down. Up and down and up and down and down and up and up and down. Here's the stairs mm. right here. You found them? Indeed I did. I felt like a yo-yo there for a minute. Do you know what a yo-yo is? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Shadow. This is a shadow block in my way. Just standing there waiting to be spoken to. Okay. Hello. I don't know where to go, but the shadow knows. The shadow has all the rights. All the information. Oh, all right. I'm coming down. Come we have here, to talk assistant. to that. Let's take a better assistant. look at those documents. I think you better rethink your mind. I'm not an assistant of yours. Let me see those papers we gathered. Ah, I see. The recollection found an altar but could go no farther. Sounds magical. 
There's mention of finding vials of blood, some sacred water, and a bottle of ancient wine. Yes, yes, those are our keys. What big ears you have, Narciss? Don't you think he has big ears? <laughs> it seems my here. former allies are not doing well without me. Here. Petrification oh. traps, locked doors, giant statues, I'm... that peculiar what? altar. I was gonna say, not a the stuff. Nothing that would challenge a master of his craft such as myself. And we, this is old news, Narciss. So tell us, are there any living statues or Animated stonework. Like Doesn't surprise me. They don't require much upkeep. But this oh, altar, alien statues. design, so it will need some liquid to activate it. <laughs> they have the keys, but have no clue how to use them. Huh. I wonder what's to be done now. <laughs> we press on. The renowned oh. Narciss Dren is not But I have more questions. his on, faithful assistant. The recollection doesn't notes, like you very much. I did say we parted ways. Oh, the recollection has Surely a particular interest in alien see, treasures. I needn't explain anything to you. Wait, why You're would you well get informed. involved with cultists? I needed some I willing hands and they were eager topic. to help. All right, understood. The hunt is on, Kings, faithful we'll assistant. We'll see you later. Bye, let's go. Well, it's quite obvious they've been carting things in and out. We got ourselves some sort of a pulley system here with a guard. Given to the time we came here. Here's a statue. Hmm. I wonder if those were adventurers who got petrified. Oh, wouldn't that be sad now? <gasps> this one lost his head. Definitely a mining operation of some sort. We got some mining tracks here. Some supports. Mm. Uh, yes. Definitely a uh, yes. an effort. I'll tell you what's happening. Would you like to know what's happening? This is okay. called an introduction. An introduction to new things. You'll be able to get yourself carts and railways and putting them in your own house. Did you know that? Just wait in a month or two, maybe a couple of weeks assistant. now. We're gonna Didn't have access ahead. to mining equipment. Is that equipment. one of the recollections? Did you own? know that? Turned to stone. No, that's fascinating. It is. Perhaps we can get some sort of, don't know, oh. some sort of. What do you call it? There's a, there's a gargoyle like a, up there. There is, and there's a man frozen solid over oh. here. Did you see him? He got petrified, running away. He's scared. We're He's gonna have scared. to be careful. I think so. Mm. Ooh, a wheel of mm. cheese, though. That's good stuff. I, isn't this nice I know, assistant? I took a bite of that. You get to walk through a ruin it's like this with none other than myself. Narcissus Dren is your guide. Mm. Well, it's quite foggy down here now, isn't it? I think so. There must be moisture in the walls. Oh, Over there. there we go. There's something here. What's on that stone table? Oh, I see it. Oh, it's a vial of blood. Oh, a vial of blood. I have my own theories as to know, why but such I'm ancient blood would be altar. fresh. To oh, yeah, we have to get... The, the recollection had no sacrifice. interest in my music. We have to get those three things that were mentioned in the letter. We just have to find it. Here's another stone person. There's no shortage of people who've been turned to stone down here. Oh, look, there's a dead gargoyle. Someone has passed this way. I'm right glad they did. Nice to have a it's dead like, gargoyle instead of an angry gargoyle. It's like I heard once a Allow me to enlighten you, assistants. Folktale call. Keep an eye out for Daedric symbology. All right. The aliens worship the Daedra and were Three, destroyed by five, Daedra haters. Four, Fum. You can take notes I if you need I smell to. the blood of an Englishman. Breton is what an Englishman is. Did you know that? No. I was wondering where you're going with that rhyme. Well, I don't know. I just heard it once. It just kind of stuck in me mind, and it might not even be the real words. I just remember someone oh. sinister. What? No, I'm a statue. Oh, dear, no. You're a statue? Uh, Did you just... All right, just tease, and I just jumped upon the little dice. Oh, man. You're going to have to have me. Oh, some sort oh, of a trap. Oh, poison. Poison. Oh, back out. I have to wait for that to dissipate. 
And let's just suppose that we're putting out the good stuff. Should I have a whiff and see how I feel? Well, don't step on the tiles. Oh, oh there you no. have it. Oh. Uh, you turned into your wonderful skeleton self. And here's another gargoyle dead. Or did we run this way already? Are we repeating no, ourselves in a no. circle? <gasps> let's go down. Look it. Let's go down oh, we here. We got some sort of a mine shaft here now. Assistant, have I ever regaled you with my research on ancestral tombs in Vardenfell? It would Wait. only take a few hours. Yes, you have. Some gold or any jewels. You've or already told. You already told us. He's already talked to us, hasn't he? Hello, Shadow. Yeah. Again. Maybe Shadow is showing us the way. Like, over here. This Maybe. way. Come this way. <gasps> Look at the size of this cavern. Looking up and down, it's quite tall. Uh, what is this? Oh, no. <laughs> Assistant. Don't you have anything to say about getting me caught up in this noxious mist? No, <laughs> you were the one this to one. the trap. Damn. I think you should step oh, on this one hello. right here, Narcissus. Another of our recollection friends. You're trying to get him killed. He stepped on. But I uh, was trying to shit him up. No. I could... Look at right here, some secret <laughs> water. Assistant. Oh, I bet that's for the altar. Let's take it. It's for the altar. Let's... All right, now we just have one more item to get. Which way should we go? This way? I think we should keep heading forward. You think? Look at all this mess! Oh! oh the recollection has no regard for proper urn. excavation procedures. Elf better, been my usual about assistant would be lately. shot by would such Would you like disarray. to know what I've been thinking about? Well, I'm sure what you got on your mind there. Well... I don't know if I should tell you or not. You might think ill of me. Really? What are you thinking that we should we should push Narcissus off one of these cliffs over here? Did you know that when I was thinking just that alien, I was saying if we could get him to come mean right a journey here to the afterlife or uh, some other destination for the ancient elves. Ah, I look at it's over amazing here. what you can learn from You know me. how I was talking to you about going vegan? Right here, they put some food up here. It's a tomato tray. I take it. Thank you very much. And on the other side, look at there's some drink. I, I, I think I would like to eat them tomatoes. I did like them last time I tasted them. They're kind of juicy. I like juicy things. I do. Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? So you're eating juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. I like juicy fruit, then. I'll eat that juicy fruit any old day you want to share it with me. Be careful. Oh, here, come here, Narcissus. Narcissus, stand right here, Narcissus. Oh, there we go. <laughs> if that I'm statue afraid. comes to life, we're in really big trouble. Oh, wait. That thing. I don't think it will. I hope that's not one of the living statues. Majestic. Oh, I haven't, we haven't come across Oh, how I'd love to know how they carved these wings. Was it one sculptor? Two? More? It's so lifelike. But how come we're not meeting any living statues, I wonder? Maybe we we are not being serious enough for living well, statues. Well, luckily, two of the gargoyles have already been murdered, so we didn't have to fight them. Otherwise, we would have had two there for sure. Are those the living statues we're talking about now? Gargoyles? I was hoping they'd be a person. I'd like to see a person that was turned to stone come back to life. Maybe you might get your chance. The only trouble is it might be you or me. Well, I don't want it to be you or me. I'm, oh, nice I'm little side passage you found there. Where'd you find? Me? Oh, yeah. You. I, I like found you. I like I wasn't sure where to I go like and you found this nifty little side passage. Well, I like to ferret out little side passages like this. This is where you find buried treasure, but none of the treasure up there is available. Oh, come here, Narcissus. Right here, step. Follow me. Step right there. Right oh, through he's... the middle. There you go. Ah, he, he didn't go. He didn't go. I just have you noticed how quiet he's been since he's now had two doses of that poison stuff to breathe. I look it. We got a little jewelry box there. I, I did grab it. What did I get? I don't know. I think we're heading in the right direction. I do. Oh, here's a book. The Last of the Alien Kings. Oh, I already owned that book. 
But I'll look at it again. Oh, it's all about Dinar. It is about King Dinar. But how they found safety with the High Elf Dereni clan. You know, if if I pronounced it uh, uh, differently, I, I could call him King Dinner. King Dinner? I bet he'd be very happy to hear that. Wouldn't that be a nice Hello, name King to have? Hello, God. it's me, Dinner. Come and eat. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure he thinks that's just supper, you would. Note the he three would bowls. Think it's supper, we need to put all three items on the altar, Indeed. then oh. anoint it with the proper liquid. Right here? Come, let's make haste in finding but all wait, of them. But wait, we only have two items. Do you have three? No, I've only got two. We've got to find another. We Maybe over here? We've missed it somehow. We have to go back. Oh, I'm no. I'm sure we don't just have to push forward. I think you're right. I think we have to push forward. And grab us another cheese wheel. It's just like they said in all the reports. There's some old bottles of wine, some cheese. This would be a nice place to rest for a while. Cheese, a little wine, a little wine with your cheese. Looking at the gargoyle, a dead person. Some people turn to uh, stone. I think you should come right here. Just run, run straight. Oh, it didn't affect him this time. Are we going back to the beginning? Wait a minute. Oh, it's ten minutes ago. Here's this where we came from. No, it says the Hall of the Loyal Retainers. Oh, let's go. Maybe there's something Should special. Should be five. <gasps> oh, look at We've just found a something Three real loyal special. Retainers. Stand back, assistant. I'll speak their name Three and command them. Three here. He's going to speak to them. He thinks he's that grand. Parhalia. I bet he's going to get Ballet wild Palin. Yon Varla. He'll learn a lesson, perhaps. Um, hang on. Perhaps he will. Name. Let's see what happens here. No, wait. <laughs> what the oh, hell did you oh, see? Oh, oh. Did you see that? I want to see that again. Clear that across was... the room. Oh, I don't even want to fight oh, this. Amazing. This Lar. I don't want to fight you, Lar Imero. You did a grand thing. I like your drop kick. You're a drop kicker, indeed. All right, come on. I guess we got to kill him. Alright, I'll sneak around the him. Yeah. I killed him. Oh, so Whoa, a second one! Oh dear. Just as I was saying, it wasn't so bad. It got worse. Oh, there's a third one! There we have it. Look at we killed them. And I got an alien sculpture, Grand Tree Lead. Is it that? Oh, congratulations. Fantastic. You didn't get one? You didn't get one no. now? No. Hmm. Oh, it's not your lucky day. I did get some sort of a box. You didn't get any lucky charms today. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, it's after any lucky charms. He is up. Oh, look at I got a box. Let me tell you what I got. Are you ready? First of all, I got a blueprint for an high elf bed single. That's great. I didn't Ooh. have that. I did get some Bravo's best beef risotto, which I already have that recipe. Do you need that? Oh, I have three fallen leaves coffers. Oh, congratulations. Them? You should open them up. Okay, I'm opening Let's one. See what you find there. Oh, I got some wind chimes. I don't know if they're wind chimes. Oh, grape growers wind chimes. It's a treasure. I can sell them for some money. I would have liked to have kept those, I think. Oh, look at That's this. Sure. I got a style page tree sap legion guards. Oh, thanks very much. But I already have them. Do you need them? I don't think so. No, let me see. Do you want me to let me put them in our talk? Can you link it? A, I'm going to link it. I'm just gonna put it. Wait, let me see. What, what am I? Where am I? What do I have open? I'm just gonna put it uh, here in local. I don't care because I won't give it to anybody else except you. There. Do you have that? I don't have that one. Oh, it's your lucky tea! See, oh, I'm giving you lucky charms. Let me open the last one in case there's something you need in that one, too. Ooh, oh, sure. I got some clay pot. 
lotion I wonder what I can use that lotion for mm. all right let me give you these this is your lucky charms or your lucky day I mean all right <laughs> come here let's see I need to trade by doing this I'm going to invite you for a trade and I'm going to attach this item oh I'm so happy I could help give you something of value me too, there thank you, you kindly. Don't You're so welcome. I love it. Right now. Oh dear, don't get indigestion. Make sure you're nice and calm because look at we have some aromatic wine right here. Oh, right the here. final piece for the altar, I thought. <coughs> yes, yes, I'm going to grab that too. Now I guess. You? Oh, he's They've excited. Been on the job. He's. But of oh, course, I... we got him much farther than he got on his own, even with the help of the recollection. He's running away from us. I think we gotta follow him. Let's go back to the altar, we do. We do indeed. All right, let's see. Oh, look at we're up above. We're, we're quite high above. What, what are we supposed to do? Just fall down? I mean, come on. Suppose are we, we could just jump down. Are we supposed to? Oh, right here. Right here we go. A moment, assistant. Um, a moment, assistant. Please come here. I need to talk to you. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks to my dazzling intellect, I have deduced that we should anoint the altar with sacred water. Assistant, oh. apply the sacred water. Oh, well, okay. Why do you think it's the sacred water? Simple. Sacred water goes on an altar. It's quite obvious. Any fool would see that. Oh, it could be one of the other items. When you have been at this as long as I have, you develop a sixth sense for these things. I think Place so. all three items on the altar, but we will use the sacred water. Trust me. Okay, as you wish. If you would place all three items that we collected onto the altar, we can proceed. Okay, I guess so. And now, anoint the altar with the sacred water. With this, our way is opened. All right, there's the sacred water. Excellent. Wait, nothing is happening. Is it because broken? Do I have a broken altar? I Surely think it's going to be. the sacred water must be the solution. What do you solution. think? Do you I'm think sure the blood or the wine? What do you think? What do you think out there? Blood or wine? I think we should go for the wine because you turn the water into wine. You turn the water into wine. All right, go for the wine. That did it! Um, just as I predicted. Hello, Azarin. Tribute to the wine shared between the retainers upon their arrival. On a, on Good a job nice following my instructions, tool. assistant. I'll make oh, an explorer of you yet. Mm. I'm going on ahead. Onward to discovery. Now we need to follow him. But may not too hard to do with him yapping away. Oh, we... Oh, okay, so I must tell you something. Um, you know, sometimes oblivion peaks in, rightfully so, I guess. And I, I got to tell you that there's a few hundred oblivion peakers. And here peakers. we are, the emblem. Oh, welcome, everyone. Glad to have you with us today. Magic. Thanks for watching. Surely these tiles, pressed oh, in look correct it. sequence, will remove the water cells. I want this tile. Crazy it. altar. Oh, this is grand. That carving looks important. Do it, here. it is some form of epitaph to the five loyal retainers. I'd venture it's crucial to releasing the emblem of the last king. I have you seen something like this before? But of course. Just be a a fool to think that a treasure hunter as respectable as myself would have no experience with a simple tile puzzle. Okay, then. How, big wig, how do we solve this? Were I to put my vast expertise to use here, I'd venture that the solution to releasing that barrier lies in this epitaph. Okay, so you can solve this and... I could, but let's think of this as a teachable moment. He can't. A final oh, examination, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. You should work this something. one out on your own. I know, he's so I'll silly. be here to supervise. Oh, yes, of course. Fine. Let us look at this epitaph. Get out of here. Dren is no stranger to a puzzle, but can his assistant right. exhibit the same prowess? 
Let's King wait and Daenerys see. Five Go on now. Retainers Read that epitaph. Ever vigilant after walking the path of the Imblin. Lord Emeril started in the extreme west. You got that? In the west. Paraphernalia followed, riding east for four nights. And Bala Palin was next, moving north for three days. Long Darvla came forth, traveling west for two nights. I don't think I can follow this. Are you following this? So the unli- they're talking about the squares down here. You see the squares. And so the Give it your all. Square, so I'll be here for the point at which you undoubtedly will need far, my counsel. The far west? Far right. Does it say? Far right, and then go where? To be. Read me the epitaph one last right. time, and I'll move on. To okay. The Lord Emerald started in the extreme west. Okay, extreme west is over here. All okay. right, here we are. Let me. All right, and now where? Paraphalia followed riding east for four nights. All right, what's after that? Bal Balapilan was next, moving north for three days. All right, I'm there. And young Yondvarla came forth, traveling west for two nights. And then what? The unnamed was last, taking one step north before unleashing the preserving mist. Oh, that's the we got now it. clear, and the Great emblem job. of the last king calls to that's me. Grand. Come, look at it. It's look marvelous. At this. <gasps> Do we get our own waiting yes. to be taken? Any final notes, assistant, before I commit well, history? All right. Now, now, assistant, we have found the emblem of the last king. It's been waiting so long for me to recover it. What are you doing? Step aside, assistant. The great and wise Narciss Dren will now seize the emblem. I intend to present it to my assistant Elf Beta at her southern camp. Yes, that sounds sufficiently thrilling. You're gonna give her the staff? Hang on. This grate looks like those earlier traps. There may be a mechanism to disarm it somewhere. Fool of an assistant! Do not disturb me or I'll have you demoted to a footnote in my next book. You stumbled through much. And now your reward is to watch me finally grasp the emblem of the last king. But how do you think we should let him grasp it and get in trouble? I think we should just let him take it. It's pretty insufferable. I think so. So, hey, don't let us stop you. (sighs) Did show us what you got. I've bested those recollection fools. No, a trap. It's that petrification gas. Take the emblem to Elfeta! I... I... He's so stupid, that man is. I'm going oh, he's to a stupid. statue now. Yes, indeed. Now, we got the emblem, and let's go. Alright. So, we got it! Ah, oh, look we at did. over here! Who's this? Golem, Golem Vigilant is creeping in creeping about over there all right we got it now we can get out of here and go back to that elf beta elf beta elf beta where are you elf beta there's Elfetta, always Elfetta, let down your hair oh that's a grand one i like that oh it looks like we can get out right here oh that's all right, that's pretty here. handy oh i guess we're not actually out though Oh, but I'll be, I'll be just up the stairs and to the right first door oh don't step in that stuff oh no what are we oh, oh. what oh. after that first step it's a doozy that was i think we had to go upstairs here so that was a shorthand a shortcut i should see now we're gonna go yeah, take us outside way. and find out better and we can breathe we can breathe oh Oh, what, what's that? What's that? The funny man with the, the pot for a helmet. Oh, I think he's fallen. He, I think he ran into the side. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. We'll wind our way through the ruins here and find our way back to Elfesta. Elfesta! Do you think she'll admire him as much when she learns that he got turned into a statue? I d oh no! Oh no! This one is behind you. Thanks for having me back there. I did. I always have your back. I appreciate that quite a bit. You're very welcome. Oh, more recollection morons over here. Oh, they just are everywhere you turn. They just... I thought we killed these. I thought we... I thought we killed these recollectors. Why are they still creeping about? Alright, if that once we took their leader, they'd be done, but they're like a chicken that's been decapitated and still running amok. Just... <laughs> it's just squawking. Right, clacking and fighting. Moving and there, uh -huh. there you are. Oh, I was there just beginning is. to get worried. Hey ho, I mean, El Beta. Hello. Delightful Shy to one. see you remain in one piece. <laughs> Some of my dear Narcissus collaborators do not survive the experience. Tell me, how did you fare? Well, 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 well. Here you go. The emblem of the last king as requested. Here's your Excellent. staff. Excellent. I've arranged payment for your efforts. Did Narcissus come with you? That was I a know. Nice touch. Probably still taking notes for his next dissertation, I expect. Should I go after him? Eventually, I suppose. He gets cross with me when I fussed about him too much. Oh, thank you for the coin and the explorer's safeguard. I need to take my leave shortly. Narsa should turn up any time now. Perhaps I should go looking for him. In any event, thank you for your help. Well, do we want to tell her? Do you want to tell her? You can tell her. Because <laughs> I think break it to her. So yeah, I break it to her. Narcissus is otherwise indisposed, you might say. He sent us ahead to deliver the emblem. Well, Narcissus. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, dear. Oof. Should I wait here? Should we go after him? I, I don't want him to think I believe he needs constant oversight, but he does get so wrapped up in well, his work. Well, he's sort of <laughs> studying statues right now, you know. Couldn't bunch him. Uh, you you should go on without him, I think. I think so, Ever too. Ever the thoughtful scholar, my Narcissus. Very well, I shall do as you say. Is there anything else I may do for you before I take my leave? Oh, she's wanting to know if you want a happy ending. Oh, I mean, if there's anything else you can do for her before you leave. Oh, I think she's going to be quite indisposed when she figures out what happened. The man she admires is a statue. She was too impatient. I, I bet I, it was a genuine pleasure to work with you. We wish you luck on your journey. I need to take my leave shortly. Narcissus well, okay. should turn up any time. Goodbye! Well, look at that. Oh, look at some blue mushrooms over here. They're quite pretty, they are. I'm going to take some. Maybe I can make an eyeshadow out of them if I grind them up and add them with a little paste. And look at right here is a pewter scene. I think I'll take that too. Because you never know, I might be able to grind it into a pewter ring. And oh, I think I'll take this. Oh, that's a skull. That's you. Sorry. You don't get to have that. That's me head. Sorry. Sorry. I was carried away with collecting items. But I thought I could util utilize in some big way. But I guess not. You know what? I'll tell you something. Let I tell you a little wee story. Mm, what you got there? Well, it's a story about it's a it's a story about a a, a, a lad name. Mm, I don't know his name, but I'll make up a name. Okay, shall I make up a name? So There's the story is pure BS, then. You're making it all up, are you? <laughs> I sort of am. I was just gonna entertain you for a little bit. Oh, thinking me. Call this person narcissist. What happened to him? <laughs> well, he is Narcissus. There was a little boy named Narcissus, and he had some little funny things um, in his personality. And there was one day he thought he'd find another friend, and then it all began. So, 
this one day when this feller met this lady and oh, they no. got a... What? What? <laughs> oh, keep going. I mean, there's a terrible bug here. I'll just keep riding along. <laughs> What's this? What's this right here? Hmm. What's your find there? Well, it's a nice little disc it is. Look at it. Do you, do you think it's nice, this whole medallion thing? I'd like to have it as a base to me, me patio or something. Well, that right. would be nice. It's quite, quite a fine looking mosaic. It is indeed. And you know, we're going to the Vineyards Way Shrine. Are you aware of that, the Valentine? Oh, there was a Minotaur, big guy. Oh no, that's an Ogre Shaman. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. Yeah. You need help back there. You have to horse. Ah, no, we just ran away from him. He didn't oh, give us. Now, did we finish that up? We did, did we? We did. We did. We wrapped that up quite quickly. It helped out we're familiar with the ruins and aren't going to nincompoops. Well, did you like me song? It was quite interesting. Why was it interesting, do you think? I think I heard it somewhere before. Oh, what do you mean you heard it somewhere before? Oh, look, they want us to go to the vineyards next, you see. To the Fort Colobia? Is that what you're saying? No, mine says go to the Valente Vineyards. Valiant. It's just right here. next to us here. Oh, it's right here. Yes, indeed. Let's go there. I'm not sure how to get in, but I bet if we go around this little section of rocks, we'll find a way. Oh, we'll find a way, and I have no doubt of that. My premonition is saying just find the first door and go in. Maybe not up there. Oh, here's a door, so. but can't get it that way. Oh, look, it, I got me some platinum dust. I did. I think we should go. I think we should go fishing. I don't know if you hear it. Do you hear a guitar playing? I hear someone singing. I, singing an instrument here. I like it. I do. Oh, here oh, we go. Here's that. an entrance. Oh, oh, here we go. Haven't we been here before? No, I guess not. I it was looks wondering. weird. It seems a lot look, like that place where we saw the murder. Doesn't it now? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the same place. No, it just looks vaguely the same. Similar architecture and decorating. And look, at here's a nice little patio. Oh, yes. And there's a bowl of grapes right there and drink. I can take it all. I'll take it all with us. We could eat it as we run. I'm getting hungry. I want some food. The manor's locked tummy. to me. Is it open to you? Oh, no, it's locked to me. It says I can't open the door right now. That means there's going to be somebody who has to assist us. So let's see, where might that person be? Perhaps there's a groundskeeper or something of that nature. Oh, that's Hello? what I'm thinking. Anybody here? Hello? We need help. Oh, I hadn't thought that for help. <laughs> Indeed. Well, hold I think on. something's wrong, but come to our rescue instead of like, oh, those morons asking hello. Well, I'll tell you what, though. These doors are all locked up tight. They've all been chained down as if nobody, I mean, nobody can get in. Oh, here's the person who came to help us. Oh, What would hello. Count Verandis do in this situation? Oh, you're not Gnorian. planning to attend oh, the Valente Vineyard's auction, are you? I'm sure no, something untoward is going on in there. Hmm. You seem capable. Would you be willing to help me investigate the situation? I House Ravenwatch can be very generous. What exactly kind well, of trouble are you going to get in at a wine auction? Oh yeah, we want to know. I've heard of I've heard of House Ravenwatch. They're ba ba vampires. It isn't just any suppose. auction. It's run by and for vampires. See, I told you. Being a Didn't vampire I myself, I can't help but wonder it's why right Lord Gallio Valente, vineyard eyes. owner and it's vampire coven house. leader, wants to sell wine to other vampires. Red eyes. It's not like we oh. partake of the stuff. Well, so were you invited to this auction for no reason? Not exactly. Hmm. I was hunting a violent vampire gang called the Terrors when I found an invitation to the auction. Inviting oh. vampires to such an event is strange enough, but offering this Vesper Valente vintage? That has me concerned. Will but you help me? I wonder. 
I don't know, is there something special about the Vesper Valente vintage? Should we help him? I think so. Florian, we will help you investigate the auction at the Valente Vineyards and the winery. We will indeed. First, let's look around the vineyard. I want to examine the grapes they grow here. Besides, it's a good idea to get a feel for the grounds before we head into the auction. Never mm. fear. This is exactly what House Ravenwatch trained me for. Oh, now that's grand. I think I know what House Ravenwatch is. I spoiled the, the chat surprise. Tell us, what is it? One of the noble houses of Rivenspire. We also just happen to be a coven of vampires. I suppose you'd call us good vampires. We only drink from willing donors and never to excess. Our mission Ooh. is to hunt and put down the more ravenous of our kind. Well, I know. that's. I think that's a great mission you've got going there. And are especially... They all the in the house are of they? Indeed. Are they? Well, except oh, for our servants indeed. and willing blood oh. vassals. Oh. Oh, As what, I said, what's a blood we have a mission. We Someone follow the teaching of Count Verandis Ravenwatch. We take no blood by force, help those in need, static. and curtail the actions of hostile vampires. I really don't have vampires. any point reference aside from bleeding out when I get stunned and such. Well, what do you know about it. the vineyard and winery? It's been in the Valente family for generations. I don't and what I was able that, to ascertain, though. Lord Valente inherited the place about a, a year ago. Suck. Seems he returned from a long trip and his father suddenly fell ill and died. Now the place is under his control. Well, wait. And Gallio Valente is a vampire According to the invitation I found? Evil. Yes. And not oh. just any vampire. He's the leader of a powerful coven, which is why this whole affair concerns me. Mm. Ravenwatch has never heard of this coven or Valente before. Mm. And a wine auction? It makes mm. no sense. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. Do we... Do we want to learn more about the invitation he found, or did he already tell us about that? No, he didn't tell us, but if we're going to go into this auction and try to figure out what the hell is going on, he better show us everything he's got. You better As show I us said, everything you've got. I was trying to pick up the trail of the terrors. Violent vampires that were last seen heading toward the Weald when I found the invitation. Another troublesome vampire I was forced to deal with had it among his possessions. Oh. Well... Uh, tell us, this invitation you became suspicious over? What, 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 what why? Why? Yeah, you mean why? besides the fact that it was addressed to a dangerous vampire and supposedly invited them to an auction they have absolutely no reason to be interested in? When things appear to make no sense, I feel obliged to find clarity. Okay, then. I think I I'm a little afraid. Tarn, I'm a little afraid because... First of all, these are bloodsuckers, and bloodsuckers, they don't stop. They don't stop to think about our life. They just will suck our blood. And so they're I, like the government. Oh, yeah. Indeed, <laughs> indeed they are. But this is yeah. a worrying situation. What do vampires want to do with wine? They don't drink it. I don't know unless they're trying to trap in here but i think we should go this way i'm feeling called just suppose to go this the way. wine is filled with blood perhaps there's no actual grape juice in it maybe it's victim's blood in the bottles well i know that's that's a possibility and that they made out they bottled blood they found a way to bottle blood and then that's their that's their wine a blood reserve I don't want right, to They don't have Chardonnay kind of... or Merlot, they just have type A, type B, type O. Right. But I don't want. <laughs> that sounds silly, doesn't it? And I so don't they want... have Mer... They call it Merlot, but the O is actually for the blood type. But, oh, so it'd be Merlot. Mer... Merlot. Merlot. Universal beverage. Oh, I don't want any of that. Oh, I discovered something here on the ground. Look here. Let's look at ourselves in the credits in a little barrel here. Oh, let's examine the this. The scent wafting off those grapes. It's tantalizing. Uh -huh. Is it making you go crazy with yumminess? Like you want to Why suck? Why would grapes be tantalizing to a vampire? Our blood now. Look at, look at, here's a thieves' trope. Do you not oh. see it right here? I, I just grabbed it. Oh. Good find. Now I'm disreputable because I took a thieves' trove. What the hell? 
Since oh, when? That's what you get for hanging out with thieves. Well... Well, but it was there Oh, don't look now, there's a crazy tip on it. Ah! Whoa, oh, oh that's... Who's a good... Oh, never mind. He's dead. Oh, look, and here's a magic bag. Right here. It's our lucky day. Ooh. Let's see. You have some magic bag. Oh, I've got white cap. Oh, yes, I got... Lots of white cap. Hmm. Mm. It appears the grapes did not agree with this death hound. Well, we killed it. <laughs> this death hound we didn't touch, though. Do you think the we... grapes transformed a regular dog into a death hound? Or oh. did the grapes kill the death hound? Did the death hound eat the grapes and then become a dead oh. hound? Well, look at it. it's got the red eyes. If it's it's already a vampire dog, so that means that means. Do you think that a vampire dog's bite is worth in its bark? <laughs> I think I think it's a little of both. I do. I think Here if it go. doesn't if it doesn't bark, it doesn't bite. If it bites, it barks. Wait, did I see that? An right, injured please? field hand. Oh no, Let's find out what hit. happened. Oh, it's no, no hand place drawer. to wander aimlessly, traveler. The foul beasts are vicious and hungry for blood. The foul beasts? The ugliest hounds Drovir has ever seen. This one just finished checking the new grapes and was on his way to the auction when it came out of nowhere. Ripped up Drovir's leg real good. Mm. Okay, well, Lord Valente invited his servants to attend the auction. Who invites his Drovir servants to the auction? thought the request was strange too, but know. Lord Valente it's insisted, very fishy. and Lady Valente specifically told Sentry Helvius to let the servants in, even if we didn't have the fancy invitations. If you're here for the auction, you should head inside. Something's not quite right. Look, there goes afraid. another person running because they're so afraid for their Curious. life. Finian. Let's talk. Finarin. Finarian. How do you say his name? I'm just going to call him Finn. Finn. Finn Justice, Count Ferrandis taught me. There is always something to learn if you simply pay attention. The field hand was attacked by a death hound, a sure indication of vampiric activity. And he provided a wealth of information. Don't you agree? I agree. You did teach us some stuff. You mean, of course, about Lord Valente, Lady Valente, and the new grapes? So you were listening. Good. The field hand described Gallio as different when he returned. He developed a new grape to make him richer and more powerful, and he recently married a high elf. But the marriage already seems troubled. Hmm. Well, it I'm all telling seems you. very, like, strange. It you tell me. Too. Well, I'm telling you, something's wrong with these grapes we examined, right? I mean... Well, yeah, they seem to be causing trouble, so I'm sorry. And, 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 and you suspicious. said the, it intoxicated you, it seemed just a little bit, Finn. And, 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 and what about that death hound? The grapes were developed using alchemy. They've been infused with blood. And I find the aroma tantalizing. See, I told you. But I dare not try the grapes were infused Look what consuming with blood. the grapes did to the death hound. Yeah. Our next I... step is to attend the auction. You shall be my guest. It seems I was right they about the notice. Line. You are you are spot on. You are spot on. And now I don't know if we want to go to this because I think they're gonna notice we're not vampires. The field hound assumed you were a guest of the auction. And the invitation did say to bring my most favored mortal servant. Oh, yes, see, there, asks, it's a setup. You're the this blood servant setup. of Master Bogvir, the vampire I shall pretend to be and whose invitation I carry. Hey, Styrian. I don't know. All right, let's head into the auction. The invitation indicates we're to head to the walled garden just east of the manor. I suppose that's where they're letting the guests gather prior to the start of the auction. Shall we proceed? Well, does the invitation tell us anything else about what to expect at the auction? Let's see. It promises an evening in the beautiful Colovian countryside, majestic views, new and innovative cultivation, a new vintage called Vesper Valente, the auction. Ah, yes. And this. 
Who says wine doesn't belong in a flask? Oh, I What's that supposed know. to mean? I know, I don't understand either. What I does that mean? I could be reading into things, but in some vampire circles, flask is used as a crude term to refer to a blood oh, servant. It's a it's Someone who willingly thought. lets vampires ah. feed on them, usually for compensation. Well, yeah. Well, you mentioned. Us. I think so. I don't think we should go. I think it's a setup. I think we're in for trouble. So, I mean, specifically, that invitation suggested the vampires bring their servants. Are are your servants flasks? Indeed. Though the vampire I, I acquired you. this invitation from wasn't the sort to rely on blood servants. You were right. Extremely cruel. Mm -hmm, indeed. Preferred the thrill of the hunt and drank to kill. Mm. Ah, this event becomes stranger the more I try to make sense of it. I don't know what to think here. We've got graves that are filled with blood, people who let vampires feed on them, and they've been requested to come to this crazy auction. Oh, I don't know. I feel very unsafe here. What do you think? Well, I suppose we have to head over to the auction and at least take a peek about. I think we gotta... Alright, let's go, but let's sneak in. I've got some... I've got some spells of invisibility we could use and sneak in. What do you think? We go completely invisible when we use them. Do you think you need some of that? Well, I can't see how it would hurt, although I wonder if the vampires could simply smell the blood in us. Ah, something's be biting me! This dog! Oh, thanks. I was worried it was gonna bite me. If a death hound bites you, do you turn into a vampire, I wonder? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I want to chance it. Are we just going to sneak in there? Oh. Your invitation, please. Oh. Right. Here you are. Welcome, Master hey, Bogvir, and guest. I'll escort you to Lord hey. Valente this way. Totally He's not unnecessary. A vampire. I'll find him. Oh, good. Thanks. He doesn't have red eyes. He's a real servant. Or am I just fooling me? Oh, right. I wonder if, wonder if he knows who he's serving. Mm. Then, just then a moment. Wait it's quite a messed up, doesn't it? Look at this. It's I like it, indeed I do. Finn. So, do I look like a Master Bogvir? No. Uh, probably not. But we work with the tools we're given. Okay. Let's split up and mingle. Talk to servants, well, guests, whoever's willing to chat. Well, are we supposed to call him our Master Bogvir? All right, what are we trying to learn in here? Anything that can tell us the true indeed, purpose Master of this Bogvir. auction. Here it is. Vampires don't need wine. Especially made from grapes that apparently poisoned a death hound. Try not to come off as too curious, though. We're supposed to be guests here, after all. And, um, Finn, are you going to be questioning people, too? I am. But as soon as we walked in, I was hit with sudden pangs of hunger. Not unlike when I smelled those grapes, but much stronger. Luckily, I carry a flask of blood for times of need. I'll just find an out-of-the-way spot to take a sip. Well, okay, I guess. I guess, right. So we, we understand, and we'll ask around and see what we can learn, too. Indeed. Can I offer you a glass of our new Vesper Valente? Certainly. I'm oh, very curious that. about this I wine. Oh, really? You're the first of Lord Valente's guests to accept the wine. It. I hope you enjoy it. What happens to him? I suppose we should talk to her. Hello, servant. I'd offer you a glass, but your friend just took the last one. I wasn't expecting that. None of the other guests I've served this evening even tried it. Only their attendants and servants. Oh. So, wait, you're saying this wine that the guests have come to bid on at the auction isn't for their taste it is. I, I'm confused. the vineyard's latest vintage Vespa Valente Lord Valente did tell us that his guests probably wouldn't want to try it before the auction 
but that I should freely provide it to their attendants and servants. Well, have you tried the wine? What does it taste like? I have. Lord Valenti was generous enough to let all the vineyard workers and servants have a glass before the guests arrived. It was salty and crisp, with a slight metallic aftertaste. That doesn't sound right Something to, me. to do with Lord Valenti's alchemical process, I think. Not. It doesn't sound right at all. Well, I'll tell you what, are you real? Hey, Bones, are you real? All right. I suppose we should go talk to some more people. All right, let's go mingle. Did you know sure. that... Did you know that our our again. viewers our viewers are not are not real? So I guess those that are chatting it up in the in the chat are not real either, so whatever. Hello You there! I am bored and my hounds are hungry. Will the auction start soon, or must we continue this Colovian dance of manners and pleasantries while my gold sits unspent? Well, uh, I'm not sure when the auction will begin. Ah, apologies. I mistook you for a Valente servant. Lord Valente is clever, and if the wine accomplishes a fraction of what he claims, the waiting will have been worth it. But I would prefer to simply buy what I want and not deal with an auction. Remind us what's so special about this wine. Haven't you tried buy it? it? You really must sample the vintage for yourself. I suggest you find a glass quickly, before the auction begins. All of the servants and attendants must have that wine flowing through their veins for the main event. All right, well, I think we're going to enjoy the party. So perhaps that's what you should do too. Why do you suppose everyone has to have a glass of this wine in them? I don't know. Seems a bit suspicious to me. I don't understand the methodology I that they're Lord using. I heard Lord and his new bride loathe each other. Loathe Why each other? Did you hear that? It's beneath him, dear. Oh, here's one to talk to upon the stage right here. Oh, good. Oh, that's the Lord, Lord Valiente himself. Oh, well, are we talking Hello. to him? Let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Welcome. I'm Lord Gallio Valente, the humble proprietor of mm. Valente Vineyards and Winery. Mm. You, however, have me at a disadvantage. I do not believe we've met. Which of my acquaintances decided to bring you along as their guest today? Hmm. Are we supposed to tell him? We have to make sure we use the fake names. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we are here with Master Bogvir. Perhaps you know him. Bogvir, of course. Arts. Where is my old friend? Still upset about that little incident? No matter. I was hoping to clear things up before the auction got underway. Send him over to talk to me the next time you see him. Well, now. Oh, I don't know where he is. Do you know where he is, Tyron? No. I think he's mingling. He's just out and talking to everybody. If you like, uh, we can pass the message along. Oh, don't trouble yourself. Any guest of Bogvir's is welcome. Enjoy yourself. And do make sure to try the wine. Oh, yes, of course we'll do that. Now, if you'll excuse sure. me, don't it. I must they prepare for the auction. Look, I think we should go talk to that woman over there. Do you so see bad her news now? is he knows who Bob there is. It means we gotta tell Fen not to talk to him. I know, what if, okay. Well, look, and here's his wife. Hello, oh, his wife Hello. Is Hello. my husband's guests. No, you're either an attendant or a servant, I'd wager. Who brought you to my husband's little affair? Pray tell. Well, we're here with Master Bogvir. Master Bogvir? Is that the name he uses now? You know, he bears a striking resemblance to an old acquaintance of mine. In fact, I'm sure of it. How is Venorian? And why has he come to Valente Vineyard? Hmm. We're not sure what you're talking about. 
We're here with Master no. Bombeer. And why don't I believe you? No, don't worry. Oh. I have no desire to reveal Fenorian's deception to my husband. Not before I learn what's going on here the same as you. Oh, that's great. Be so kind as to let Fenorian know I'd like to speak to him when he's free. Oh, yes, as you wish. We'll do that. I think we need to con confer for a minute over here. Look at... There's something really, truly happening here. Even the missus is trying to figure it all out. Let's see. Do you think we should find Finian and warn him? We definitely should. His disguise is not, not solid. He's not safe. Oh, here he's... Oh, here he's here. He's a bit close to the stage for my liking. Yes. Finn, why are you this here? This wine is specifically meant for the mortals here, not the vampires. So why are the vampires bidding on it? And why is my flask doing little to curb my rising hunger? Tell me you learned something more, my friend. Or we're doing Finn. a roleplay stream right now. Uh, yeah, hi. <laughs> you're, wel you're welcome to say, but we're in a uh, roleplay for the Gold Road Wood Elf. So Lord Valente's wife is Ursilia Valente, and she seems to know you and wants to talk to you. I'm sorry. Indeed. And did you say Lady Valente's name is Ursilia? Oh, she's that Ursilia. Yes, that Ursilia. Should we Ursilia. leave? Maybe we can sneak Just out the way we came in. Well, well, she seemed as interested in finding out what her husband is up to as you are. Right, That's right. True. We do need to figure out what's going on here. All right, mm -hmm. I'll stay and talk to Ursilia. You head into the manor and see if you can find Lord Valente's office. Something in there might tell us more about the purpose of this wine. Well, well I, I'm kind of curious here now. How does Ursilia know you? That's a story for another time, friend. Let's stay focused. You see what you can find in the manor while I talk to Lady Valente. Well, okay, Tin. We'll go to Lord Valiente's office inside the manor. Don't worry. We can talk more later. In the meantime, go and search Lord Valiente's office. Why he can't must have you one do that? The manor. What are we supposed to be looking for in the manor anyway? Ledgers, journals, letters, alchemical notebooks. Anything that gives us some idea of Lord Gallio Valiente's plans for the wine. Vampires can't drink it, but they're the ones invited to bid on it. We need to know why. Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know why we have to, why we should be the ones to do that. I think he should go in. He knows what he's looking for, not us. I don't know. It seems like he could recognize. It's probably better just to send us first. Indeed. He's got to be careful. Indeed. Am I going in the right direction? I guess this it seems is the to me the just up ahead here, yes. Oh no, I don't know what to say. I still have a bounty over me head. 277 gold coin. Well, that's what you get for being a naughty girl. Well, you know what? I just picked up the thieves' troves like anywhere else in Tamriel. You just see it, you grab it. You don't have a bounty put on your head. Indeed, I don't understand why suddenly I got one. Oh, here's this office right here. Uh, the door's unlocked. I hope. Yes, we're getting right in. Oh, this is a, bit, this is a very nice looking office, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. I guess... Look, at here's the note. What does it say? Oh, no, this note is from Bogvir himself. And isn't oh. Fen pretending to be Bogvir? Yes, indeed he is. Oh, look, see, this is what he's just gruntled over. Oh, apparently, he stole the recipe from him. Exactly. It says that the wine will double or triple their powers. But somehow it would kill them first, but now they figured out how not to die. Well, I don't... I don't understand this. Ah, uh, that's how he got involved in this, because... Of Ravenwatch. You see that? Ravenwatch Did was it. informed. All right, should we look here on the desk? So that's why Fen is here. He got this patch to investigate. I think so. Here's the winery oh. key. 
great I think we should take... for future notes and so take it and use I... it. I think so, we need to. Oh, here's the journal of Lord Valente himself. What Ooh. does he have to say? Oh, it sounds like he's very unhappy in his marriage. He married her for the money. Hmm. Oh, he's talking about how everyone hates vampire and the bog there. They don't like bog there. Who is Bogvir? I haven't heard of anybody named Bogvir. Have you? I didn't even no. ever hear of Vesper Valiente. So this is all new. I think there's some kind of underground You crazy. again? What oh. are you doing in my husband's office? Oh, well, we're caught red-handed, I suppose. We're looking for reasons why this is all happening, oh, Lady no. Ursula. Oh, I have figured Never it out. Right place at the right it time. says right we have. here in the journal. So. But Did you find what you're looking for? And wine, Sharon, and with me, maybe I won't hold on to the wine drink, for my husband's army the vampire mercenaries. can then feed off of them and receive the benefits of the elixir. So, if one of us drinks the wine and then the vampire feeds on us, they will get the benefit. They will become two to three times stronger and they will not die afterwards. But unfortunately, oh. uh, the one the non-vampires who drink it die horribly. So that's not great oh. for us. We want to make sure we don't drink the wine. So did you hear that? Did you hear that, Lady Ursula? Va Valiente is a vampire. You know that, don't you? And his wine makes vampires more powerful, but only when consumed from a mortal, but will die. Let me see that journal. By the stars, he killed his own father, and he plans to kill me. And oh, he's a money? Cretan and a monster. He's a monster. Yes, pouring wine into people just so you can eat them and gain unnatural power is pretty bad too. Damn it! I drank the wine. Don't let him get near ya. I mean, after all, you didn't know Lord Gallio Va Valiente was a vampire. Come on. I suspected something was amiss. Oh, she's all right. We haven't consummated our marriage, and he spends I mean, his time in the winery, not... locked in his alchemy oh, laboratory with his mercenaries. Plus, he covets my family's fortune. Going to town from but a vampire makes uh, sense. Indeed. Well, all right. So I don't now. know. Yeah. This vineyard could be a mother load in the right hands. My hands, friend of Fenorian, not my husband's. I assume you're here to stop him, help Fenorian finish the task, and I'll forgive him for the affront he visited upon me and my family. Well, yes. I think I think we need to get this information to Finn. Make sure you we do. do. I have no intent to serve as a wine glass Let's go for find my him and see if we can tell him what's Garcilia. going on and save him. He drank the wine I already. I owe you an well, here's Finn. Going to die a of death. course you do, but I don't care. Just talk to your friend and deal with my husband. All right, if you say so. Well, Finn... Lord Valente is well and truly into the auction now, so we have a bit of time. I never expected to find Ursilia here with you, though. What did you discover? And what did she mean by deal with her husband? Well, Tyron here found a journal. And it explains everything. Here, take a look. Interesting. He really spells it out, doesn't he? Yes, alchemically exactly. enhanced mushrooms used as fertilizer for alchemically treated grape seeds. And the hunger. I wasn't losing control. It's an effect of the grapes. Well, that's a relief. Well, okay. So, uh, well, it says in that journal I've heard that if a non-vampire drinks the wine, then a vampire drains them and gains power. That does seem to be the general correct? idea. What if we says, allow this to spread, the ramifications will be staggering. Even relatively peaceful vampires might be tempted to start killing out of hand. We need to stop this. But you don't want um, to kill us. What were you and Ursilia discussing? Well, <sighs> Ursilia says if you deal with her husband, she'll forgive your affront against her and her family. Oh, yes. I do suppose I owe her for that. Oh. I'm no hired assassin, but I do make a habit out of disposing of dangerous vampires. We will mm. do what is necessary to end this threat. Nothing more, nothing less. 
and that begins with destroying the wine. While the winery and the alchemical laboratory are downstairs, we found the key. Head downstairs and scout the area. I'll follow along shortly. I need to try to make things right with Ercelia. And maybe I have something in my alchemy kit to deal with the wine in her system. Just the smell of it makes me hungry. Oh, wait a Just minute. a moment now. What did you do to make Ercelia so angry with you? Exactly. We were betrothed. A marriage arranged by our families. Ah. There might have been some affection there, but it was mostly a business agreement. When I became a vampire, I just left. I thought it would be a mercy. I think so, too. I think that How was a kind thing. But you turned into a vampire, though? That's a very personal question. I mean, no offense, but I'm not inclined to share it with someone I only just met. Perhaps someday. I hope you understand. Well, you didn't even talk to her? She never knew what happened to you? No. I didn't want to hurt anyone I knew. Arcelia, my family. So I simply left. Eventually, Count Verandas found me and made me part of House Ravenwatch. Rivenspire is a long way from Somerset, and Westfield is farther still. I never expected this. Hmm. Well, I wonder, are you going to honor her request? I'm not going to go out of my way to kill Gallio, if that's what you're asking. We do need to destroy his operation, though. This elixir turned wine is too dangerous to distribute to aggressive vampire clans. What happens after that is up to him. All right, then. Indeed. Goodbye. Ercelia! I just but before we go, go find the wine let me see if I've got anything yeah, that will flush the wine from way. your system. I'm not... I'm feeling rather down with all of this. I don't think they're very nice here. Well, that's quite a shady enterprise, isn't it? They want to get more powerful and to do it. They're going to force all their servants and people who are loyal to them to drink the wine and then feed on them. It's despicable. I think that's despicable. Oh, look at all this wine. Mm. This is all it's the wine. Like we're in a winery. Look at it all. We can't drink any of this Tainted because you know why. bottles everywhere you look. I'm trying to think. Did you have any wine when we got here? Did no, you have any I didn't wine? make a sip. Only Fen drank from the wine. That's what I thought. I don't think I did either. I'm trying to remember. I don't have the taste of wine in my mouth, but would I know? Hmm. Finn is with us. Well, careful that there's some foul around. magic afoot here. I'll take the cheese, thank you very much. Oh, Ooh, are you okay? That stung just a bit. The Lente Journal said he had a cover of vampires. We well, you turned into fight. your fetch, you did. It hurts me quite a bit, but I'm okay. Oh, look at here's all. Got some evil vampires down here guarding the stash. Oh, there they are, valiant soldiers, they are. And they're really not very ferocious at all, at all. We can get them very easily, we can. Indeed, they're going down quite fast. They're going down faster than the hookers in the north we were at earlier. They were indeed, aren't they? Did we make it up to hookers? Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? That we was did. our elf beta. Elf better the <clears throat> Oh, look at all these casks of wine. This is quite an oh. enterprise, isn't it? It just goes on this and on. Is, this is not good. Not good at all, at all. This is the biggest winery I think I've seen ever in me life. And me life is... I'm quite old, you know. And apparently under the influence of the wine. Oh, Friend, the cage. let's speak. Drink the wine. Suppose we should talk to Finn real quick. If Finn, what These you want? workers must be some of the subjects Gallio mentioned in his journal. They're on the verge of turning into blood fiends. I might be able to mix a counteragent with the proper ingredients. Well, what, well, what ingredients do you Great need? pulp left over from the Vesper Valente wine, wax flower petals to hasten the recovery process, and imperial oak tannins to make the remedy effective topically. 
Find those items around the winery while I make preparations. All right, here we go on a wild goose chase. We've got to find us some items. I suppose we go this way. Oh, oh I don't fetch know. this and fetch that, isn't it? It's an endless errand in here. They're telling us always where to do. And then they toss us a few gold coins and say, be on your way now. Go go help the next one. Enjoy your 300 coins. Here's what I want. I want 2,600 <laughs> crown gems because I've got me a beastie to purchase and it's so far removed from my reality that all I can do is dream about it. Well, the winery just goes on and on down here, doesn't it? It's, this is huge. It's huge. rather interesting to look at. There we go, we got the wax flower pods. Oh, there's some dogs trying to... I'm thinking you Oopsie. might need to lock this party down. I... It is a possibility, isn't it? Well, let me look at this. Did we find out where the, the next item is? Not sure, but I'm assuming if we just wind around here, we'll run into it. Oh, look, and now we've got blood fiends down here, we do, and they're wanting to suck our blood, and I don't want that. They're the failed experiments. They said earlier think... when the non-vampires drank the wine, they turned into blood fiends. Oh, I think so. I well, think actually, so. before it was put in the wine, I was someone to loot it, so it made it out. Ah, there's more soldiers oh, here more. trying to kill us. Ah! That hurt me. That hurt me bottom, it did. Oh, look, it right here. Oh, oh here we go, the oak tannin. What is it saying? Okay, now we just need one more ingredient. I don't Looking know which one. one more. This is a big here. place. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, one of those bad doggies. Some bad doggies. I thought it just needed some love and care and it would become nice again, but it's just so mean. Well, I don't know what to do there. I think we just continue forward here. Oh, here we go, another one. Ah, uh, that's they just grand. don't stop, do they? They don't, they're, they're everywhere. everywhere now. Ouch, that one hurt me. I think we... Oh, look at them. Don't... Look at them up there. Those blood fiends are up there. We got to see clear of them. We don't doing? want to get a spit. They're like threatening us. Oh, you got more over here. They're doing more than threatening. Is that a bunch of toilet paper up there? Ah, I didn't notice that. I'm going to take a look. Went from oh. this angle, it looked like rolls of toilet paper, but now, and you know, I was just thinking to myself the other day, I needed something that looked like a roll of toilet paper. Now I. <laughs> Now you Look found it? That. Now I found it. Alright, let's see. Where are we going? I think oh, it's up here. Right here Grape pulp. This is the stuff that's infused. Alchemically. In oh, here comes the soldier. Be careful. I got your back now. Oh, thank you for finding him. Alright, we're going to backtrack now and go back to Finn. I'm, I'm following you. Oh, don't be careful. Don't walk over that magic spell like I did. Well, you did. You walked right. Did it hurt you? No, oh, perhaps because I'm a skeleton. Well, you're all bones. It's no muscle or, or meat. You're just all bones. Some of the ladies like that I'm all bone. Well, indeed, like that... 
happy ending you had the other week. Oh, here we go. It looks like we're going to wind around and hang right. We should see him. Oh, no, some more. Uh, oh, there's oh, another one. Oh, I left that. Oh, this is a... Oh, that was brown. You got that battle mage down in one swipe of your sword you did. Did you notice that? He was quite weak. He needed a keeper. He was needed a keeper. And this hunter... Okay, Did you hear that's... him? He was horny. He blew the horn. He hor did he blow the horn? Oh, dear God. Why do they have to be so horny all the time? I just don't understand it. <laughs> oh, don't let the head hound bite you now. Don't let it bite you. You don't. Oh, you look, there's that. Get oh, but we got to get through the Well, you could run for it if you're a scaredy pants, but I don't. <gasps> look at what that mage was doing. It was conjuring up a demon. I don't that know was pretty demon. intense. It was very intense. Oh, it could oh, have a we necro mania. Finn? I'm glad you're back. Did you find oh, yes, everything we need? We, we found all the ingredients, but why couldn't she have come and helped? You know, three plus three. So each one of us could have found one and it wouldn't, it would have taken half the time or two, two thirds of the time. But no, what were you doing? Once I brewed the counter agent, pick up the bucket and splash the remedy over our poor patients. It's not the most dignified way to administer medicine. So pour it, it works without putting like either of you at risk. The whole bottle on their head? I guess so. Well, All right, right. I guess we'll pour the cure on these victims. I suppose we will. Where are we going? I want some Where honey. Look at there's some honey. I think I'll take some of that honey. I don't think he'll need this honey. I'm gonna. And that should I'm do gonna it. You're free to administer the cure. All right. I got a bucket. Did you get a bucket? Indeed. We have I'm ready to throw it on him. Let's see, here we go. You're awake. Oh, oh that worked. Look at here's one right here. Wake up. Wake up. Oh that's grand. Right it's working just wonderfully. Looks like the effects are already oh, subsided. That's great. Oh that's you lovely. Us. Please oh, wait, stop need to to stop the cage. What do you need? Thank you for helping us. Please tell me you're also here to stop Lord Valente. Well, we are. But how did you wind, wind up in that cage? cage? Look at his silly little smile he's wearing, as if he don't remember a thing. We really thought things were looking up. Lord Valente had such grand ideas for the vineyard and winery. He even asked us to try a new vintage he was working on. We felt so honored. Then we started to get sick, and he locked us down Aww. here. You're such an optimistic person. Oh, now he's all sad-faced. I liked his little smile better. Any idea where to find Lord Valenti's laboratory? Yes, it's right through those doors. He's growing weird mushrooms and has all kinds of alchemical equipment. Destroy his equipment and burn the mushrooms. That should put an end to his vile experiments. Well, all right then. We'll see what we can do. We need to destroy that laboratory. You scout ahead while I work on freeing these people. I'll meet you there. All right. Notice how we do get all the dangerous work. We right. Why don't you always investigate doors. this scary thing when I get a hamburger? Like it's always something like that. It's always something like that. I'll take a rest here. I need to take a shower. I need to change my clothes. Would you go be dangerous and fight off all the monsters? Don't right don't behind you, friend. This is oh, quite he says an operation. He's... This is quite big, indeed it is. I knew there was something wrong about oh, you. Oh, he is. He wants to fight us. It's the big guy. Lord Balente. We know your treachery now. You won't ruin you don't all my scare hard work. us. Oh, what's he doing to you? Oh, you stop that now. He's got that me he was sucking his blood, I think. Just on him, I I know. Oh, look at this. Now we got this guy coming after us. Don't let him bite you, whatever he is. What is he doing? 
Oh, yeah. Finn is here. I think so. Oh, dear goodness. I keep going in a weird spot. I keep going into the very corner. Did you just see that? Looks I ran like you right everything into myself. the wall. Oh, poor, poor. Oh, we don't want to be in his shield. I'll come out of that shield. You're in, you're in trouble now. Move, move. I be well, that was quite hairy. That was quite hairy. I was quite worried. I'll say that for nothing. Wow. So find, find Lord Gallio Valente's laboratory. We haven't even found the laboratory yet. But we found him. Oh, it's above us. Really? <laughs> Whoa! Look at this crazy grow operation he's got here. Oh, the mines growing on here. You that know, is this wild, is quite an elaborate environment it is. It's really quite grand it is. I'm so impressed this is with it. what I'm seeing. The laboratory. Yeah, we need to destroy it all. Let me explain, friend. Oh, look up. They even have special skylights to bring Ooh. in the outside air. That's quite wow. interesting. Hmm. All right, Finn, what you got to say to us? Valente's alchemical equipment is truly impressive. It's a shame we have to destroy it, but we need to make sure no one else can continue his experiments. What do we need to do? Well, These vats turn the mushrooms into a fertilizer for the grapes. Increase the flames under the vats by adjusting the valves. That will increase the pressure. After that, set fire to the mushroom planters, then get clear before the vats explode. Well, okay. Now, you seem disappointed we need to destroy this equipment. A part of me hates to see valuable equipment go to waste. But we can't allow more of the Vespa Valente to be created. Now, come on. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this, but you gotta help, too. Here's one. Turn up the flame valves as high as they'll go. I'll get rid of these resources. Ooh, that's one. Here's two more over here. I'm going to get this one. All what right, kind I'll get this one. Gift? Oh, look at that. Now we have the to mushroom. burn the mushroom plant. The well placed torches should ignite the entire heart. All right. Oh, it's oh a shame. that's where he's growing the mushrooms right here. Oh, you didn't know that. You didn't. You didn't tell that. You, you didn't saw see the that out of I your one. Was graves but if the well, one if good you're... eye, I didn't see the mushrooms. That's the problem. You've got gunk in that one good eye. Look, come here and let me clean it out for you. I can't have my socket for me. I'll stick in my finger in there and just run it around and just pull out all that Such gunk. Is there some twigs in there or something? Well, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like snot. I wonder how it's not getting me eye socket. Well, I don't know. I think part of the problem is is that you, you don't have anything to hold back the That's outside. It. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. It does seem like here. every time I go swimming, I have little leaves and twigs and stuff in there. Yeah, do I think? Look at right there. That's a clot of dirt. Oh, what I couldn't see about oh, your husband. Oh, not now, Fenorian. I have more important Hello, matters. Hello, indeed. As that I was say. excellent work, friend. We destroyed okay. Lord Gallio's laboratory and managed to rescue the workers he experimented on. There might be some ramifications over remaining Vespa Valente. But it won't become the sweeping problem I feared. Oh, well, we didn't stop the auction, though. We didn't have to. Ursilia told me she interrupted the auction and told Lord Gallio, in a voice loud enough for all to hear, that the Raven Watch was on the premises. One mention of House Raven Watch and the invited vampires fled the estate. Oh, indeed. That's quite a prestigious honor to know about, isn't it? Indeed, so none of them got any of the Vesper Valente. Perhaps a few bottles were carried off, but none of them had time to load any casks or crates before they fled. I'll track them down eventually. 
And before I take my leave, I'll make sure the remaining vintage is destroyed. And tell us, what happens to the Valiente Vineyard now? Arcelia is set on taking control and turning the vineyard and winery into a profitable oh. enterprise. That's I have no grand. doubt she'll succeed. That'll be good. And yeah. speaking of succeeding, your help was invaluable in stopping Lord Gallio. Well, Please, indeed. take this with my thanks. You are so very welcome. We appreciate the gold coin, but... Only 362? Really? They're so cheap. Really. They're so cheap. Okay, and I do like the Galio Valente Best Vintage, as long as it doesn't have any of that crap in it. I suppose you're off on another adventure now, friend. Know that I appreciate the assistance you provided. And the companionship. Yeah. If you ever have need of House Raven Watch, just send the word. We always have time for our friends. Well, and tell us, will you return to Rivenspire now, Finn? Eventually, after I make sure any remnants of Lord Gallio's vile experiments are taken care of here. Then I may check on the auction guests that scattered and see that any absconded bottles of Vesper Valente are dealt with. There's always something. Always something. Good to see you, Finn. We'll, we'll look forward to seeing you one day again. You take care now. Hey, Goodbye, do you want to do you want to go over here and have some uh, some of this wine we got? I think we should go post up over here by the way shrine and call it a day. It's been quite I active would like, here now, hasn't it? It's been it's been very active, and I would like to have me some of this wine. Would you that like to good. have? Maybe some? we should take the way shrine back to town. Or should we just stay here? I suppose. What do you say? Let's just stay right here and sit down and have us a wee little picnic. Shall we do that, do you suppose? It's a bit rainy. Perhaps we should hide under the roof. Oh, maybe so. Maybe you're right. We can go back to town after we're done if we need to. Ah. Uh, well, thank you, everyone. I'm looking right now, and I'm seeing that there is actually... 340, so Excellent. I guess they're Welcome all everybody. fake. I guess they're Thanks all for watching, fake. Everybody. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and we really appreciate you. It's nice to have Absolutely. you here. And we'll see Thanks. you next week, of course. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.